Okay, congratulations on Get Santa. Thanks. Um, okay, how did you both get involved? Sure. Uh, okay, uh, basically, well, I started just off by like, um, the, like I did a self tape, and I didn't really realize that that would would be the start of really the whole my my the main the climax of my acting the proper action bit of of my life really it was kind of weird because my dad was um we were just i was just in my room and then my dad said oh you've got a self-tape to do and i said oh what's it about and he, uh, he said oh it's about farting reindeer <laughs> so it was um it was kind of a a shock so i did it and then uh, I had about seven other auditions to do after that. There was hundreds of boys that were being considered to play the part and um, and Kit was the one that rose to the top and um, the, the, the filmmakers were very adamant about having and um, I I was cast before Kit and I remember them talking about it and it's quite a, a difficult thing to find a child who um, is mature enough and talented enough to be able to um, take being a lead part in a film and uh, that was really amazing that we found Kit because not only is he very talented but he's a, a lovely person to have around and um, is very very good at his job and really had a great time didn't you so that yeah, was really yeah. really lovely to be a part of that experience did you have a say in in it so I mean no I don't, a I chemistry don't have, test no something? no I don't have a say in it but um, uh, the director and writer is called Chris Smith He's a man of, of, of great taste and someone who, who really wanted to find the right person. And uh, there's a brilliant casting director who specialises in children who was working on it as well. Um, and uh, I, 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 was, I did a play in New York last year just before we started doing the film. And I remember Liza, the producer, came and saw the show with her husband. And she said, oh, we found this really brilliant boy. Um, and um, uh, Liza's husband is an actor. He's a really good oh, yeah, actor, yeah. yeah. He, Mark, Mark Strong, Strong, yeah, and he 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 said he uh, and Mark said that he'd watched your tape and he thought you were really great, and so I thought if they thought he was great, then he must be. Wow, highly recommended. Yeah. Uh, so obviously you filmed this kind of uh, in the winter of, of earlier this year, didn't Last you? Last February. So uh, yeah, I mean, m however much you love Christmas, kind of after Christmas you usually just want to want it to go away <laughs> for a little bit. So kind of yeah. what was it like, sort of doing Christmas out of season? Well, you know, it's, it's nice, isn't it? It's nice uh, to, you love, you'd, you'd, yeah, you'd have it to be Christmas all year, wouldn't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this year it was literally, I was in the Christmas mood all year because I started in late January and ever since I found out that I got the part, it was always just Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Yeah. It was just, you know, I was I was already thinking about, like, what kind of Christmas jumper I'm going to wear. Mm. So it was really, like, prepared for Christmas in January. It was like... I was so excited. It's really, it's, it, I mean, we, or, you know, if it's all a suspension of disbelief, isn't it? And actually the nuts and bolts of filmmaking um, are as such as it, um, the, the actual filming of stuff is only 10% of the day and the rest of it is waiting around and that's the same on any set, whether you're doing a Christmas film or you're dressed up in, um, as a Victorian dandy. You know, it's it's all suspension of disbelief. So whether that is representing Christmas, not at Christmas, or um, or you're in a spacesuit on a on a um, alien planet, then it's all it's all odd and strange. But the oddness and strangeness is something that you become accustomed to, mm. which is quite sad, really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are, are you are you feeling Christmas now, or is it feeling a bit anticlimactic? No. It's always been Christmas. I'm, yeah. I'm still at Christmas. <laughs> I'm just. I'm, I'm even more Christmas. I don't think a ten year old's ever going to find anything yeah. to do Christmas after <laughs> quite active. Um, but I no. I, I look forward to Christmas every year. I've got my own children, um, and I uh, love it. I'm a big fan of Christmas, and so to be part of a film um, which um, deals in the magic of Christmas is actually important because the films that you watch when you're a child are the films that influence your taste forever and the films that you hold dear to your heart. And um, uh, if, this, if a child can see this and it means something to them and gets them in the mood for Christmas, it makes them feel happy and nice, then that is something that you hold dear to your heart forever and that's a really special thing. Well, I can't wait to watch it with my daughter, actually. So, okay, yeah, great. Thank you. All the best. Yeah, See you later. Great. Cheers. Thanks.